I'm Amanda Sepstein, and this summer I'm doing my internship at the Everett Tennis Academy in Boca Raton, Florida. Now I would just like to tell you a little bit about what I do at the Everett Tennis Academy. This summer I was hired as the student services intern. I work in transportation. Uh, we have to pick kids up every week at the airport, and we have to take them to the airport, so I help coordinate that and set that up uh, with my supervisor named Pat Brady. I check the kids out on Saturday, giving them their paperwork together, giving them their passports to travel home, their visas, their money, whatever they needed. Um, I helped them get out the door and uh, I helped give the information to the driver so they knew when to come and get them and which airport to bring them to. I also worked at the front desk answering phones, putting information into the computer, um, selling merchandise to the kids, food, restocking the store. And I worked with Tina Dale, who is my supervisor for student, student services, uh, helping her make schedules for things, helping her with the dorms, coordinating information, uh, making weekly tennis teams, help make an outline for the newsletter. And um, I also supervise the kids every day. For one hour a day, they had time to go to the game room after lunch, and I would be there supervising, making sure everything was under control. So that's what I spent my summer doing. As you can see, this is our store uh, where we sell all Nike and Wilson merchandise. They are, I guess you can consider them the sponsors of Chris Everett. You see their logos everywhere. Um, so those are the only clothes and accessories we sell. Uh, we sell clothes, uh, bags, shoes, anything tennis related. Uh, the rackets we sell too. As I'm turning the camera, you'll see that is our front desk. Uh, right now it's the weekend, so it's closed right now, but during the week, this is the busiest area. Kids are coming and going all day long. Parents are in here too, waiting for their campers to be done or to just speak to some of the employees um, that work here. We sell food and drinks up here uh, also. And this is probably the busiest, busiest area of the camp uh, when camp is in session. But since it is the weekend, it is now uh, quiet down. You're right now looking at the Everett Tennis Academy building. This is the building for the kids who are campers and full-time students who are not part of the USTA. Um, this has the cafeteria, it has the flex room. Uh, it's where they live and spend most of their time while they're here at the Tennis hey. Academy. I'm Patrick Brady with uh, Everett Tennis Academy. I've been with the Academy for four years now. I'm the dorm manager. That's my official title. Basically, what we do here is just ensure the safety and the well-being of the kids that come to our camp. Right now we're in the summer phase of the camp, so we run um, basically an 11-week program in the summer. The kids are here from one to, I think the longest we have is about nine weeks. We're here to make sure they enjoy the camp, make sure they get quality tennis in, make sure they get quality sleep, and make sure they get quality food. That's basically and obviously we need it to be fun for them so eventually they will come back and recommend us to other to their kids or to their friends we have kids from all over the world um, right now i know there's kids here from china japan we have kids from colombia um, south america europe we have a couple kids from uh, france right now french they speak French, but we have a couple kids from France right now. They're a handful. So um, it's a wide variety of kids, a wide variety of cultures, and our job is to make sure they mesh and the, the kids basically have fun and work hard. Again, now, again, we're in the summer season, in the full-time season. We have kids, again, from all over the world. It's a nine-month program. They actually do their schooling here. And it's very intense when it comes to tennis and school. Um, they have fun also. We have fun activities for them. We take them places we do, but it's much more serious when it comes to tennis and it comes to getting things done. Obviously, the summer is more laid back. It's more of a vacation. The tennis is hard. It's hot. It's summer. Summer beginners. We range from beginners to advanced in the summer. In the full time, they all have to be very well, very good tennis players. They have to be pl able to play very well. Meredith's been with us now for about 
two to three months. She's filming me right now. She told me it's going on YouTube. I gotta check it out later. Um, but she does a great job with us. She's always there when we need her. And I know she said she wants to come back next year possibly and do another internship if she's able to and that, that'd be perfect. I would highly recommend her to our director. So I can't think of anything else. That's about it. Over to my right is the USTA building, stands for United States Tennis Association. It's where the top um, tennis players who are 18 and younger play um, in the country. So you'll see these kids train hard, they train all day. Um, we have full-time kids uh, who live here all year round. They also go to school at uh, Kaplan University that we offer and the Boca Prep School across the street. So this is their building. They recently partnered up with Chris Everett. Uh, a few years ago, so this is a pretty These new These are some of the tennis courts at the Chris Everett Tennis Academy. There are 23 courts. There's clay courts. There's hard courts. Um, there's really all different kinds of courts. And I'm just showing you uh, what they look like and how the academy looks. My name is uh, David De Silva. I'm the mental conditioning director here at Everett Tennis Academy. And I also do the video components on my uh, other hat that I have here. Basically on a day-to-day -day basis, um, the day starts here at about 7 o'clock. Um, the kids are on court. I'm in the office preparing for the day. Uh, normally we have some workshops or group sessions as we call them as well, um, where we have kids staying in the flex room which is just next door which uh, holds about 30 to 40 kids and we do some group mental training as part of the rotations in the week. You know, some kids are on court playing matches, some kids on court drilling, you know, working on their technique. And the way we incorporate the mental is we have a rotation, a, a conditioning hour. So they either have fitness or mental. And mental is every other day. So we have anywhere between 20 to 30 kids in the flex room. Uh, age range from about 8 to about 18. And we actually teach them mental skills. We get them to be aware of what mental skills, what mental conditioning is all about. Uh, we get to teach them some things about uh, how the mind and body interact. We, we show some videos, we do some group exercises. We try and basically the, the, the real project of it, the real motivation is to teach them to appreciate mental conditioning and to try and uh, work on the mental skills on court. Uh, most of my day as well is doing the video, kind of taping kids and recording them and then we actually publish and produce videos which they can take with them uh, to work on their strokes or to work on match play and there's also some college video with that. Uh, we also do a big part of the mental conditioning is to work with individuals. So we actually have one-on-one -on -one sessions where we sit down with an athlete and talk to them about uh, the mental training and specifics. That's where it differs from the group sessions. If someone has difficulty focusing that's where we kind of uh, really focus on that and we really teach them the individual specific mental skills. So on an average day, we could be doing about two or three workshops in the morning, in the afternoon, anywhere between two and three students. And anywhere between that, uh, working on some video and just really the premise is to teach kids about how the mind and body interact and work together and get them to try and practice those skills on the court. Yeah. Go on. Yep. Doug Dressel, general manager, business manager, depends who I'm talking to. Um, my primary responsibility is the financial, everything financial for the academy. Uh, I collect money from the parents, I uh, pay all the bills, I have help from Lonnie, my bookkeeper. Um, that is, that is one aspect of it. I also oversee Tina and her staff, uh, the front desk and the operations here, uh, Adrian and the academic side of things, and, um, and obviously Lonnie on the financial side of things. Um, I also am the liaison to IMG, our corporate partner, so anything that we're doing, I keep them in the loop on. And um, I think that's it.